<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. Another exciting... Uh, I know what uh, one thing I have to do at the opening of the show, Dave, is uh, just mention what's going to uh, come on in the next half hour. Because lately I've been watching, we've been jumping right into it, and people don't know that they're watching this for the first time, uh, what the... What the, the run show is about. Yes. And what's going to be happening. You're right. I've been just too excited to be back. <laughs> and, well, well, tell them what's on the show. I, I'm, I'm interrupting <laughs> you once again. That's I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, we look at films and uh, TV shows and all kinds of media. And tonight we'll be looking at Aliens in the Attic and Funny People. Ooh. Also, what's coming out on DVD this week. We have uh, one death to report, and we're going to look back at uh, two other ones that got kind of a short uh, mention. Michael Jackson and Farrah Fawcett. A little different tributes here. Michael Jackson died? <laughs> he did die, Dave. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. If we have time, we're going to get to a classic commercial. That Celebrity Plates game has been on the list for about five months now. We probably won't get to that. And uh, at the end of the show, we're going to give you a chance to win free movie tickets with the poster pairs game. Ooh. And tonight we have a special guest with us, Dave. Who do we have, Ed? It's Krista Lee. Hey there, everyone. What's going on? <laughs> Ow. Uh, Krista is uh, on uh, a radio station in the area. I am. Tell I everybody am. Uh, what you do. I am a DJ on Q103. That's 103.5 and 103.9. You can uh, listen to Krista Lee, the rock goddess during Free Beer and Hot Wings, the morning show, also on Sundays from 2 to 6 p.m. Wow, Ed, I did not know we had a goddess here. <laughs> what did you tell me? <laughs> I didn't tell you there was I a goddess. I assure you, it's, it's only a name. I am oh. not, in fact, a divine being. Oh. Do not be afraid. Whew. How did That's you come right. up with uh, wow. that title? Well, you know, at first they were calling me the Rock Chick. Oh, and, geez. you know, there was a, there's a promotions lady at, at Q103 named Jeanette, and she was listening to it one day, and she said, you know what, the Rock Chick, let's give her something a little stronger. Let's call her the Rock Goddess. And then that's how the Rock Goddess was born, mm. pretty much. We have a goddess. We, don't, we, didn't get, we have Ed and Dave. That's what we're that's called. That's all we, we have. We didn't give ourselves any we're, titles. We're like, like, we're like candy. The, we're like Mike and Ike. <laughs> we're Ed and Dave. <laughs> We didn't come up like the king of pop. We didn't create no. our own title. We'll have to come up with that. Well, what was her name that came up with your uh, rock goddess? Jeanette. Okay. Jeanette Vogel. Tell her to watch. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> We're going to call Dave Frankenstein <laughs> know, or, or Kid and Play Kid tonight. Kid Play? What, what is this about? <laughs> Michael had that when he had his hair uh, cut for the first time. He was a little high there. He was a little high? His, 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 his hair was. Anyway. Oh, he terrible. wasn't. Uh, sorry. Okay, yeah, what else uh, is going on here tonight, Dave? Do, do you have something to well, jump Well, you know, on? Ed, as usual, I was going to go off and talk about the Senate, but I don't know if I should. Why not? I don't know if it's worth wasting my breath on those clowns. What do you think? Did they, well, what were they up to? Something, well, at the uh, time, well, when this airs, they're back in business, supposedly. You know that the Espada, who was one of the guys that jumped ship to the other party, yeah, started yeah, he's all this back. crap. He went back to his other ship. Yeah. His back to his party. And that's, that's uh, you know, that's interesting because he waited until uh, Pinhead Patterson mm -hmm. decided to appoint a lieutenant governor. So what did, what did Espada do, Ed? He decided, I'm not going to leave anything to chance. I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to put my Senate seat up on eBay. Oh, what? <laughs> I missed that. What? Well, that's in essence what he oh, did. Oh, okay. I thought he actually, that wouldn't no. have been uh, no. totally ridiculous. It's not ethical, though. but that's, that's pretty much what he did. He said, all right, if you want my vote, I'm going to go up to the highest bidder. And I guess his party decided to pony up. And now he gets his extra pork, and oh, he is geez. now the uh, he's now the lieutenant, uh, basically the lieutenant governor, because oh. he, he's the majority leader. Who's mm -hmm. next in line, Ed? Uh, what? The, he is. He is for the governor now. <laughs> hey, look at that! There you are. I thought it would be over there. Over there? No. I'm over here. Oh, oh. Watch it. There it goes. There we are. Well, but anyway, that's what, that's basically what it is. What it, because when you don't have a lieutenant governor, you uh -huh. don't appoint a lieutenant governor. You don't have, according to Andrew Cuomo, you don't have the authority to appoint a lieutenant governor. And I believe Andrew Cuomo. Why? Because he's a lawyer. And Patterson <laughs> failed the bar exam, I believe, oh, two times. <laughs> <laughs> and even, uh, you know, and Cuomo's got the pedigree, you know, Mario Cuomo, very intelligent man, also an attorney. So I tend to think I believe uh, Andrew Cuomo over Patterson, who thinks he can appoint a lieutenant governor. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have to tell you, Ed, um, the thought of, um, you know, Espada being next in line, uh, that, uh, 
tightens my sphincter just a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's a little scary. But what's worse, Ed, the worst thing? Yes. What about these pay raises? Have you heard that? I haven't heard this. Does this affect Part us at all or no? Well, we don't get, we don't get the pay raises. No, no. But all the senator's staff, a lot of the senator's staff all got pay raises, Ed. Retroactive pay raises, some as much as $30,000. $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. Uh, a little disingenuous, I think, Ed, losing uh, touch with the people, the very people, the public that you're supposed to be serving. This is what they do. They give these clowns raises, their staff members. I I've had enough, Ed. I've had enough with these clowns in the Senate. we got to get rid of them. I'd rather have Billy Fusillo in there. <laughs> Running. Crystal loves He loves my love. My love is Billy. <laughs> Billy, if you're out there. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh I, I think based on that, we might see uh, her on a commercial. <laughs> oh, let, me, let me tell you something, Krista. Let me tell you something, Krista. Don't be messing with these dinky donkey dealers, Krista. You have to cut me off in mid-sentence. Oh. Tell me the, 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 the warranty, Krista. Tell them about the, the, the warranty. Well, well, the warranty. Well, let me tell you something there, Krista. <laughs> I anyway. I don't know, Ed. That's my. Do you like Billy's uh, shirt tails <laughs> hanging out of his pants? Is that what, what turned you on? It's, it's, you know, I, I mean, I don't know if I can say this on TV, but he says it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! And all the time, Ed, I uh, thought it was the car. I was talking about the wall. I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about the warranty. The, war oh, the warranty. The warranty is just. It, it's it's like this big. <laughs> huge. Wow. Wow. Well, when the <sighs> goddess speaks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do some films, Dave. Or are you done? Are you I'm done? I'm done. With your, I'm done with done? those clients. You shouldn't be wasting my breath. Are you Senate. following all the uh, the mishaps at the Senate and all that? Uh, oh, of course. I'm I'm just glued to my television set every day. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up, Ed. Mm -hmm. We really, you know what? You should. We we we, we care, but it's annoying. Mm -hmm. It's aggravating, and I, I I find myself listening only because it's disgusting. What, what goes on? Mm -hmm. And you, you have to keep track of this because you have to know who should not be voted back in office. <laughs> I'm just looking at your hair thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, can you zoom in on me again? I gotta, cause I gotta look. What up. happened? <laughs> look at that. Look, I'll check that out. And then it just flops the off. Anyone got any uh, moose or something? You almost yeah. look like you have a William Shatner piece on there, Dave. That's what it looks no, this like. Is, this is mine. <laughs> That's all yours, though. Oh, that is horrible. It adds height, though, you know? You look, and I need you some. Look taller. Mm -hmm. I need some. You know, I'm about 5'2". Oh, you could be as tall as me someday, though. Wow. I'll just put the... See mine? Now it's got the... We've got the body, the volume, a little hairspray wow, that's, under uh, there. That's huge. It's Jump. huge. All right. Aliens in the Attic. We're going to take a look at first, and we're going to have a professional reader. Wow. Not us, Dave. No. We have a professional I'm down in, here. I'm impressed. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this. Aliens in the Attic is starring Kevin Nealon, Doris Roberts, Tim Meadows, and Ashley Tisdale. Now, this film is co-scripted by one of the writers of Madagascar and the Academy Award-winning Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Now, it's an adventure comedy about kids on a family vacation who must fight off an attack by knee-high alien invaders with a world-destroying ambition while the youngsters' parents remain clueless about the battle. Now, it's rated PG for action violence, some suggestive humor, and language. The Pearsons. An entire fleet of those guys are about to invade. Uh, is there a premise here, or is just <laughs> the aliens are bad? We can say that right off the bat. The cast isn't too stellar either. <laughs> These kids need some haircuts. Preferably by the person that did not do mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I guess this is for five-year-olds, Dave. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a young Jay Moore. I think... Uh, what happens in my bathroom all the time? Oh, no! This is what happens when you, when you lose your series. Game over. Peter Boyle is glad he's dead now. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't live too. Oh, no! Oh, God. Poor Doris uh, Roberts, such a fine actress. And this is so not happening. Yeah, she's surfing down railings. <laughs> right. No, oh, boy. That's the thing they used to control Ricky. Whoa. Oh, cool. Let me see it. What does a big button do? 